Correct. He is from uh, the, the U.S. So we have a uh, U.S. referee in the U.S. Uh, game, and uh, the other one is Lars from uh, Denmark, I think. So in the game, and here we start. And um, where is my list? I confused it. Uh, Helvetia in blue and uh, East Heaven Marcos in white. White free throw. East Heaven Marcos uh, in white. And we're at the in the Swiss half. The team from Basel is. Uh, Oh, sorry, uh, misinterpreted it again. We're in the Swiss half, and the team from the of the US is attacking, stealing the basket away, and that is the first goal uh, for the East Heaven Marcos against uh, the Swiss team. Well played here in the first one and uh, one minute uh, fifteen. Uh, already and it's always a good kick uh, to start in the first minutes with a goal it's a psychology uh, 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 thing a psychological thing to start with a win and to lead with a with a goal in the first minutes i think in every sport it's true it's totally true so which city marco's coming from uh, I think uh, we were told yesterday, but I forgot. Can you please tell us in the live stream uh, chat where, uh, what's the hometown of the East Heaven Marcos? Probably the city is called East Heaven. Or is the district? I'm so oblivion to geography. I'm happy I find my way home every day I come from work. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, the uh, Swiss team in blue is attacking uh, the US basket but the defense of the Marcos is pretty solid in the moment and the Swiss have difficulties uh, building up their uh, attack pattern and they do it quite close to the defense of the Marcos and that makes them uh, easy prey for the defense if they leave their defense position and go into a uh, more offensive oh this pass dropped off the Swiss player, she didn't see it, but she recovered it. Nice attacks now from the Swiss players from Basel uh, going on the basket. Uh, this is a nice comment from whatever the three. Uh, okay, we will uh, declare Basel the, the capital of Switzerland. Uh, East Heaven, uh, you see the explanation is uh, in Connecticut, uh, about halfway between Boston and New York. Um, East Heaven, Connecticut. Thanks for the explanation, Shaki Hayes and uh, Jesse Coe. Uh, it's always nice to interact with the live chat, so uh, it makes the our commentating more dynamic, more lively, and we have uh, 158 uh, visitors in the live chat here in this game. Uh, East Heaven Marcos in white uh, defending their basket and uh, the Swiss player from uh, Basel uh, attacking uh, no, up, 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 that was a pass over the head of the Swiss player and uh, in the hands of uh, East Heaven Marco player and we go now f again for the basket of the Swiss team I'll be back in a second Jörg and I'll leave you alone are you able to deal with it? No. <laughs> okay, then I, okay, have to no. I have to pee in my pants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to... S I don't... Uh, okay. No comment. So, uh, we are in the middle of the pool. Uh, ball on the surface. Um, we see uh, uh, at the moment the ball is uh, taken over by the Marcos. Um, on the bottom, uh, four checking from two Swiss players. And uh, it takes a little bit too long that the uh, ball going down uh, to the bottom of the pool. Uh, keeping the ball on the surface is always difficult to get some uh, distance in the pool because this is a hev ho heavy 
occupied room at the pool. Now we have a tag on the close side on the basket, the pass to the middle, but it takes too long that the player uh, give. This is a free throw against uh, Switzerland. So uh, we have the goalkeeper, the defense. Someone wanted to steal the basket but was not fast enough. Attack from the close side of the pool. On the open side you see a player from Marcos waiting there. But they get she gets the ball but she cannot control this. The Swiss lady get in between the goal, uh, they're getting the ball, counter-attack, but too high on the surface, directly forechecking from the Marcos, the Marcos get a pass, they're getting the ball on the close side of the pool, moving attack, uh, pass backwards, uh, but intercepted by the Swiss lady, they lost it, Marcos had the ball again, Less players, teammates under the water to pass. Pass on the close side on the ball. So again, uh, the Marcos are in ball position. Pass in the middle, attack to the goalkeeper. It took too long to push the goalkeeper up. Pass back in a into the middle, directly on the things. Referee call. The referee give pushing. Uh, Two people are on the pole. It's a free throw against the Marcos. Here yeah. I'm back again. York, did you miss me? Should I lie or say, say the truth? What do you prefer? Should I stay or should I go? No, of course I always miss you. Yes, I miss you too. Uh, first thing uh, in the morning I think about is, uh, York, <laughs> what are you doing? So uh, uh, in such cases, I have to push down his microphone. Yeah, because you're laughing out loud. Yeah, no, no, your your microphone because it's strange what you're saying. <laughs> so we have interested uh, spectators for the water rugby who want to get qualified commentary, and you're saying something I don't want to share with the world. Yeah, because it's a personal secret between the two of us. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> However you describe that, I'm fine, I'm here, volunteer basis. Uh. So what's get instruction from Lorena? Oh, instruction from Lorena? I don't know, I cannot hear because I have the headphones. Let's see. Okay, we just got informed at 11.30, which uh, will be in uh, 22 minutes, we will have a referee here with us, sharing a little bit uh, knowledge uh, about refereeing here at the Champions Cup. Thank you very much for this uh, input then. We will uh, uh, <coughs> use it and improve uh, our commentating and uh, the knowledge we have in the live stream. There's a question from Hara Carmona. Didn't the Marcos score a goal? Yes, they did, but the display uh, uh, sometimes is a little bit slow. So it's a 1 0 lead for East Heaven Marcos from the US and White against uh, Helvetia in blue. So we learned East Heaven is a city in Connecticut, and uh, this is a nice area which uh, called New England, home of an. E New England Patriots. Patriots, yes, yeah, uh, American yeah. football team, very nice American football team. You like them, the Patriots, don't you? Isn't it your uh, no no ah you don't like them? Okay, let's go back uh, to underwater rugby. Um, you see, Wolf yes, asked I me see. a question, and then he stopped and then my cut answer. you out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I like to do because I see the answer building in your face, and I stop before the let's history comes. Let's go back to the game. So the Helvetian <laughs> team has. Uh, on attack and oh now we get <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay
Okay. At uh, least we're creating some fun, it seems. Um, yeah, at least we too have fun. I don't know what the spectators uh, uh, think of us, but uh, we have fun. Okay. Um, back in the game. Um, E7 Marcos are now under pressure, but their defense uh, is holding pretty well. We have a cluster on the surface. Uh, well, the numbers, I think, increase. We have one, uh, 161. Amazing. We are so attractive. We are attracting the spectators, Jörg. Uh, the E7 Marcos are in defense. Basel is trying to attack, but tackled to the surface. And we have one minute left here in this uh, first half, and East Heaven... Uh, the Marcos from E7 are still leading. This is an attack from the open side from uh, the Helvetian player, but she's a little bit too undecisive in her attack. Um, the, the movement should be faster, the attack should come faster, and you see the hesitation, not knowing what to do in this moment. Here we go, an empty basket. That would have been a great chance for the Swiss team, but the reaction time and uh, the overview of the scene was not what was necessary. There was even the Swiss uh, player waiting at the open basket. That could have been a great chance for the Swiss to equalize uh, in the last uh, 30 seconds here, but didn't happen. So I guess we will go into the first uh, in the second half with a 1-0 lead also the East Heaven Marcos. The last five seconds. Um, Whatever the three you say, the, the second commentator is just plain inaudible for me. Um, probably switch on your uh, second uh, loudspeaker because we speak on both sides. And uh, that could probably be the reason because uh, we, um, we transmit it so you can hear us both at the same time. So probably use both headphones if you have headphones on if you have just these plug-in headphones and then you will hear us both say something which which one do you mean uh, me wolf or uh, Jörg? that's the other one that's me yes Jörg okay. is here i'm here that's your call I'm sign now we call you Jörg. oh yeah you Jörg? have to get used to it yeah it, it's, it's uh, the, the, the thing is it sounds like my name Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah the yeah. things you can do with speaking and, and voice. You can tell someone something that sounds like his name. Imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we were talking about something. A free throw. Free throw again. Yeah, but I think you never told us the secret of uh, a good free throw. You just said it could be an advantage if it is uh, executed right. So what are the ingredients? Don't tell us your secrets. Do the unexpected. Okay. Everyone expects the pass is going down, the pass is going to a player which is under the water or something like that. Okay. So you have to create a pattern which is not expecting. Th but the, the, the question is here, Jörg, can you train the unexpected or is it a creative moment of the player no. executing it? No, no, it's, uh, you have to train it. Okay. You have to do this pattern again, again, again. Because when in the game uh, it's happened, uh, you you get a foul, you have to switch immediately to the situation to execute in an exact pattern a free flow. And your teammates have to know what is going to happen. They have to do it automatically. Okay. There okay. should be no question. Okay. But if you... so. That's one standard you train, unexpected standard you train, they know what to do. Do you yes, mean that? Yes, but yes. then you only can do it one time, don't you? Because then it's no more unexpected. Or is it just one, you know, but you know what I mean? If, if you train one standard uh, uh, execution of Again the free throw. Again, it's three dimension. Okay. And you have to have several options, for example. Okay. So do, do you start with the positioning of the players in the water? Okay. And who is doing what? At okay. what time? Okay. Okay, so the, the, the there are different variations of an uh, uh, unexpected execution of you a free you throw. You have to, first of all, uh, create a standard, and out okay. of the standard you, you, you develop. You have option A, B, C, whatever. Okay, I see. 
so, okay, back in the game and uh, whatever the three um, is telling us, uh, he's not hearing you, right, uh, Jörg? So uh, please, everyone else, do you also have problems to hear uh, Jörg, uh, the one with the white cap, and not me talking now? Do you have problems to understand him? Uh, if not, it's probably a setup technical problem with uh, your equipment, whatever the three. Um, hello, Tarek B. Uh, you're watching from Lebanon, as far as I remember from this morning. Welcome back to the Champions Cup here. Is there anyone to? Uh, is there anybody out is there? Is there anyone to hear me at all, or it's just? Me? I'm hearing you. That's the most important oh thing. Oh, okay. That. <laughs> <laughs> but Philip Schultz, uh, ich höre euch beide. Okay, that's uh, that's fine. Philip, I'm that means I'm all right. Philip, I miss you. Uh, Come over, mate. Please. There is uh, Joey, one of my uh, team uh, members uh, from the team Berlin, Please coming into the. On me on the game, I'm so friend. excited! I just can't hide it. Is there I'm someone about to lose to control, and I think I like it. Is there someone to give me the the pills which uh, Wolf took before the game? The, 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 the red ones. Don't the take the blue ones, please. Okay, okay. back in the game, and uh, Basel is defending uh, their basket, and uh, the East Heaven Mancos from the US are attacking. Tackle the way to the surface. We see in this game uh, a little bit uh, too much for my uh, gusto. For my uh, liking, uh, li a lot of uh, tackling, which totally stops the game. And um, I, I tend even to let the ball go and take it away in the in the pass uh, and not doing you it you like the, the, the technique on the surface. Girl just block, so nothing happened. Yeah, it's just uh, a buoy on the surface, and there's nothing more boring uh, as a buoy on the surface. Yeah, the the ships that do always passing by the buoys as <laughs> as fast as possible. Tarek B, uh, the Black Mermaids haven't played yet, uh, let me check. Uh, gonna be in later at uh, 1.30 local time. And uh, back in the game here, the team, Swiss team is attacking the US basket from the open side, but the player is all alone. And now here come the, her teammates, but she already lost the ball to a East Heaven Mako player. And uh, back on the surface, and the counter-attack from the US team. Here we go, two players from the US against one goalkeeper from the Swiss. That's a dangerous situation, and whoa, go! Very nice, executed. Perfect. Very perfect. well done. Perfect counter, perfect uh, pass, perfect attack, goal. So the E7 uh, uh, Marcos uh, leading the game 2-2. Two -two. Uh, Jesse, Jesse Coach just told us uh, the microphones uh, are a little bit overwhelmed by our excitement, but it's mostly you, just uh, the all your screaming and singing, uh, you yeah, just overloads the microphones. Please slow down a little bit. A little bit less excitement would uh, probably uh, don't overload the microphones. Are you? Fa did you fall asleep? No, I just okay. listen what you say. Okay, and then another attack here from Basel on the East Heaven Marco. Uh, um goal but the, the thing is the, the the little microsecond of hesitation of not really knowing what to do in the moment uh, in which the the actual contact physical contact with the uh, goalkeeper should happen uh, that's the thing that costs the yeah here we go yeah that's a goal and I'm saying it sorry I'm excited again and I probably overloaded the microphone We got an explanation for free throw uh, in the live chat. We'll read it uh, soon. That's a, a goal for a Swiss team. So it's a 1-0, still a lead for the Marcos, but uh, Switzerland scored. And just at the moment when I was talking about they're not scoring. So I have to say about, I have to talk about the things in the live chat that I don't like to happen, then they will happen. No, that's not true. I like to uh, Switzerland to score, but I have to talk the things that I think are not uh, uh, time out. They are not uh, 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 perfect in one team, and they do it perfect. So it's uh, it's magic. It's just magic. Um, Thank you, Tarek BM. Uh, <laughs> 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 I 
I don't know, Jörg. I like to do commentate commentates with you. It's so ex it's so it's so entertaining. At least for you. <laughs> yes, for me, absolutely. <laughs> I enjoy every second of it. It's just like uh, yeah, yeah. You're the water I swim in. <laughs> I hope that uh, this is recorded and uh, maybe it's we can <laughs> it, it definitely is recorded. We will we will have a look at that and then we write this sentence in the book. Yes, please. At least that it's then historical uh, valid <laughs> and, uh, and nobody will buy the book but at least we, we write You and me we have the only editions. <laughs> 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 One and two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it's fifty percent. Fifty percent. So at one and two, we're getting in the competition. <laughs> um, so we we s we have another five minutes to go. Uh, Marcus leading uh, two to one uh, with a fast goal in the second half. Now good attack. Oh, and another attack. Another Very goal. nice. Now the Marcus getting into the rhythm and into the place to score. This was, uh, they were now able to identify the holes in the defense, which uh, directly said Scott. Uh, this is uh, really developing into hunting for, yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is really <laughs> developing into hunting for goals now for both teams. And uh, that's a quite a solid uh, lead now for the East Heaven Marcos, leading uh, two goals uh, more than Helvetia. So we have uh, three to one lead of East Heaven Marcos in white here against uh, Helvetia yeah, in we blue. Have the first customer for our book. Oh, Philip Scholz says, ja, du kriegst natürlich eine signierte Ausgabe. Hallo, mit Foto, keine Frage. Um, and we're on the surface. And no, we Again, a cluster on the surface, not you yeah. and me, but, no, the, but we the teams. We are in the commentary box. Uh, yeah, we are in the commentary box, but we are yeah. with the teams on the surface. No, and here we go, that was a fast attack, uh, luckily intercepted uh, by the forward checking defense of uh, Basel. But here comes the second wave of uh, the East Heaven Macos into the basket area. They come from the close side, but the time is working now for the East Heaven Macos. Uh, they don't have to. Uh, proof here or anything they were leading with two goals and the time is working a little bit more than uh, three minutes left in the second half here of game 59 in the Champions Cup uh, 30th edition here in Berlin call from the referee it's from the referee on the surface no roughing it's against the Marcos uh, a free throw from for Switzerland yeah, let's see how what uh, how how big the, the advantage is uh, for the free flow. So there seems to have a pattern, ball down, but not really getting a gain of position. Uh, pass to the close side of the pool. The attacker pushed away the goalkeeper, but could not shoot. So the Marcos defends the ball under the bottom counter attack. And it seems uh, they come directly to the goalkeeper, keeping down on this uh, pass on the open side, uh, fight on the ball on the open side, uh, recovered by Switzerland, so, uh, but they go to the surface, they, they try to control the ball, but it seems uh, it's difficult, they did not gain some field advantage or room advantage in, in underwater rugby. One minute um, 40 left here in the second half. So basically a free throw against the Let's the look time. at the free throw now, for example, to give us an example. Uh, E7 Marcos are executing, Just throwing it backwards. backwards. That slows the, sp the game for you, but it's unexpected. <laughs> at least. <laughs> yeah, but not an advantage. It's just no, keeping that's true. position. An so unexpected not advantage. But there was no there no other position yes, to play yeah. to. Okay. Not a call from the referee. Okay. Pointing out one pointing player. Out the player but pushing without ball. Yeah, okay. Which is illegal. We know this is illegal. It's only illegal if the referees see that. This is so sophisticated, Jörg. Yes. 
I know, that's the reason I'm here. You are an ausgekochter Hund? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A cook dog. <laughs> yes, you are a very, d very, very deep fried cook dog. <laughs> <laughs> and here, another the attack, attack from Boston. Like this is a nice attack. Yeah, uh, the the, the attacker is pulling. Yeah. Ah. Good defense. The goalkeeper uh, accepts the grab uh, around her body, and when the Herbation girl tried to score, she grabbed the ball and saved it. 18 seconds to go. I think, think this, this game, yeah. this game is done uh, in that situation. Call for the referees. Uh, eight seconds, seven seconds. Uh, uh, counter attack uh, of the Marcos. The Marcos Congratulations to the East Heaven Marcos here uh, in this game. That. Yeah, between. Uh, Already forgot. Boston and New York. That's Thank Connecticut. You. Yes, that's Connecticut. So we will soon have a visit uh, from a referee here in the commentator box and uh, hear a little bit about uh, refereeing uh, here at the Champions Cup, which has its own quality. And I'm uh, super excited uh, to hear a little bit about the referees. And uh, um, yes, please, uh, Jörg, can you take a little break, have a coffee, yeah, and no I will. Uh, get uh, the referee here in the commentator box and have some questions for the referee. Here comes the referee! And Thorsten woke up again too. Did you sleep well, Thorsten? Uh, 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 Thank you very much. I take this seat. It's a yes, okay. Was I still have wet trunks. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, we switch sides and I have... Oops. The r one of the referees uh, with me, uh, hold on, I have to change my... Uh, please introduce yourself. Uh well, my name is Kai, I'm from Norway, I'm an international referee. He's a, 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 are you a, a referee? Yeah. Like a, yeah. yeah, yeah, so you are allowed to, to uh, teach uh, new coming referees how to referee. Yeah. That's the that's difference between A, 1A is an international referee, and AA you are allowed to educate new referees. Yeah, and I love to educate new uh, referees back in Norway. Ah, so okay. So, but, but uh, I can educate uh, whatever place they want to help me. Okay. So I have no problem with that. Cool. So, Kai, can you tell us a little bit uh, about uh, refereeing here at the Champions Cup? Is it different to other tournaments you do? Is there something special about the Champions Cup? Just to get on their way yeah, into it. It's a, it's a big difference between uh, international cups and uh, Champions Cup. But normally in, in international cups we have uh, um, not running time. We yes. We have to stop the clock every time and we have to take the time to notes and everything. But this is, is a running time that the speed is goes so fast and the players want to play fast and we don't have any time to Stop to stop, end. yes, exactly. Yeah. And so, so decisions have to be faster with yeah. you. We have to, this is a bit faster, we start again faster, we, uh, we have to move a little bit faster, we have to think faster and everything goes much faster. Yeah. That's, that's a for, for players, I think that's good because uh, some players is very fast in their minds when they're playing mm -hmm. and they want and still going, going, come on, come on, come on, we use the speed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it more difficult as a referee because you have always to decide in the moment, stop the game or let it go? Is it different to a now a game with a stop time for you as a referee? Uh, as, a, as a referee, we have to be on the edge all the time. Yes. Because uh, when we stop the cup, we have to see all looking forward, what's going to be next. Yeah. So we don't have the time to s tell the people what's going on. Get short message and, uh, and simple message to, to the people. The hand signal is very simple. Okay. To help the people understand what we're doing, yeah. and the deck ref is starting again, but then already the game is already doing. Yeah, already happening.